Hey guys, it's Tape Tape here, and I'm going to do a video on my dad's truck. It's the same one that I've posted a couple months back. Um, it was just a short video. Now, I can't really recall if I've done a longer video on it. I don't think I have, but if I have, um, then forgive me. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Also, I poked myself on my finger on a metal cable, and that hurt really bad, so that's bothered me. But whatever, it doesn't matter. Anyway, this is my dad's truck. It's a 1989... Um, what is it? 1989 Dodge Ram 2500 or D250, I think they're called. Now this beauty right here has only got, as you probably seen, in my, you probably haven't seen any of my other videos because I'm not really that popular, but whatever. Um, it's only got 55,000 original miles on it. Yes, 55, not 155, not 255, but uh, 55. That towel is I was just cleaning up the interior like I was cleaning the carpets as best as I could soaking up the mess soaking up the wetness anyway yeah that's the bed and you got a good idea of what the bed looks like the carpet center inside of it probably gonna have to clean them up but anyway yeah let me get back further this is my dad's truck um only 55,000 original miles original drivetrain except um it my dad got it from it was actually my uncle's at one point it was my grandpa's at one point and it was also my ants at one point but they've all owned it a very short time but the first the first one of my family members to own it was my uncle he's passed now but he bought it from an old guy um traded a, a, a newer car for it but uh it was a farm truck used to pull around horse trailers and the transmission got fucked up because it would pull who, who knows how much weight of horse big big old fifth wheel trailer um you know, on them, you know, them Dodge transmissions, but anyway, you know, uh, it, uh, got tra transmission rebuilt. My un my other uncle, actually, that didn't own it, he got it rebuilt. So it's, you know, pretty much rebuilt transmission. Um, you know, got the front. I'll show you the inside and I'll even start it up for you, but it's fairly rust free. I mean, it was in Illinois for uh, northern Illinois for a short while, so it does have like surface rust on the frame um does have little spots like that but there's no like there's absolutely no holes anywhere of rust uh, except for, forgive me except right there that's like the only only spot the only reason it doesn't have it on that side is because the trim is missing what, what the oh the trim is missing on that side and you know it, the salt gets up in there and rusts it but anyway you know i'll show you what the frame kind of looks like if it'll yeah it'll focus see it's just it's like thick surface rust but there's no like you know, all them holes are meant to be there, obviously. Not like no rust holes. You know what it looks like, but, it's, you know, it's it's still solid, basically. You, I'm, you're, if you're from the north, obviously, you know. But, uh, anyway. We've got that signature buzz interior. Really nice. Got the metal roof. And I can start it up for you also. Mm-hmm. I was cleaning the carpets, like I said, they're still really dingy and dirty. The stain right there was a lot worse, let me tell you. It was almost black. But same same with up there. Probably someone real dirty sat in it or something. Greasy, I don't know. Who knows? Someone shit themselves. Who knows, man? That cushion over there is just for uh my dad actually has it over here sits on it but i'm gonna take i have it off right now because it's wet kind of letting it air dry i got the window open you know all that stuff um you know, let me show you under the hood it's got a 5.9 360 um v8 obviously let me set the phone down real fast uh, hang on i'll show you whoops let me get let it get focused My camera's doing something really weird. It's like zoomed in for some reason. I don't know why. I, I mean, I can't zoom out or anything. I'm as zoomed out as I can be. But yeah, um, it's, it runs perfectly. It really does. I'll start it up for you here in a second. I better do that now because I don't want the video to cut out. My luck, it probably will, and you'll probably never see this video. But anyway, this key right here, yep. Anyway, yep. You know, it runs fine, drives really good, runs really good, all that. Anyway. I'll show you.
Drives really good. Runs real good. I already said that, but whatever, you know. I'll get down to the exhaust. It's pretty quiet, actually. I just remembered. It's got, you know, mufflers and if you can see a, a can of vegetable corn, I believe, used for it. It was like it rusted away, so they sealed it up with that. It's like a temporary fix, but I mean, hey, it works. Still got the factory nasty fiberglass. I don't know what it is. Looks like black, black licorice cotton candy. Definitely don't taste like it. Don't ever try it. I'll show you, I'll shut it off because I don't want to, I'm not actually supposed to be running it, but uh because my dad's he doesn't know. But I'm just uh, showing it to you guys, that's all. It's not like I can't run it. It's not like it's dangerous for it to run, but I just don't want it to keep running because it's low on gas now and about that. Whoops. Dang it, my bad. That low on gas and I don't really he doesn't really like to run it too low. Because we live farther away now, it takes a couple miles to get to the gas station anyway. You know, it, it drives a... It ain't got no RPM gauge, I just realized. But yeah. Doesn't it doesn't overheat, nothing like that. I'm going to shut it off right now. Um, close the door too. But yeah. I ramble on too much and talk too much, I know. I don't have to worry about the license plate being in here anyway, because for one, it doesn't do no harm, and also it's not even the right license plate now. He hasn't gotten it registered down here yet. <coughs> so that's an old license plate. <coughs> but yeah, it's a really good truck. Anyway, that's all I really need to show. Let's tape the eight and see ya.